Hello, welcome. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I feel like crap and uh, my voice hurts. You are going to get a preview of a song that's coming out later this year, but instead you're going to get a little bit of gear tour. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start. Here. All right. So this is new to me. Um, this is an Audient Evo 4. It's an audio interface. And essentially what it does is it takes whatever I want to go in, um, whether that's a uh, mic or whatever. It also has a line level, so you can just stick your uh, instrument cable right in and it will um, be able to handle that as well. And it can send it via USB into your computer. So I think it's like pretty, pretty sweet deal. Oh, I'll give you like some of the price points as well. So um, I think this was like $130 and for the price, it's a great, great value. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed like the ease of use. Um, a lot of, um, I don't know, a lot of interfaces are a little bit more difficult to deal with and so I've really appreciated this and I like the sleek design um yeah um so I guess we'll go to Mike's next so I have I mean I have a couple more but these are like the main ones that I use so this is a Telefunken M80 I think is what it's called um it's a nice mic it's really has great um vocal capabilities here um i have really enjoyed using it so far i've had this for about six months um and i've really really enjoyed it um and i think this one will run you around 220 um and then this one this is just a uh classic sm58 um like every every single venue ever has these there um just standard vocal mic some people use them you can use them as an instrument mic a lot of people don't but you can um and this is i use this sort of as a as a backup for me um so yeah and that'll run you like a 100 bucks new but all of these things you can get used especially like the guitars and stuff you can get used for a lot less um so next let's follow this chord up and we've got some headphones. So that's my dog. Say hi. Um, these are Audio Technica um, M50Xs. And they've got these aftermarket ear cups on them uh, because after a few years, you'll notice that the, um, the ones that come with them are pleather and they'll just start sort of falling apart after a couple of years from, you know, the oils on your skin and stuff. Um, I really enjoy these. I had the the older version, which was just called uh, the M50, um, no X afterwards, and I really enjoyed these um, that version. Um, when the uh, ear cups went to crap, I actually gave them to my mom, so she still uses them. They're still working, and I probably got those like at the end of high school, so a long time ago now. So yeah, these are really nice. They're durable. I like them because they're a really good mix between being, you know, like studio compatible and being able to use them, you know, like actually in real life without feeling like, oh, they're so expensive and so nice that I'm going to ruin them. So these run you, I think, like 150, but you can always get them used. And there are, um, I think, M40s and M30s as well that are like, have a little, uh, like some fewer features. Wow, English. Fewer features, but um, still have pretty good um, drivers in them and they're nice. So yeah, there you go. Um, what else do I have? Oh gosh, don't trip, that would suck. Uh, so then I have this computer. This is actually my mom's computer. It's like a, I wanna say it's like a mid 2017 MacBook Pro. Um, she is so generously letting me use it because she, uh, my computer had a, a run in with some coffee. So, um, I've been using this for 
like a year now because my mom is nice and kind and because um a new or a, a new macbook pro is gonna run you like i don't even know like seventeen hundred dollars um but if you're looking into buying them i would definitely look for um look for refurbed ones because they're often just as good sometimes they throw a new hard drive on them and so they run really well and they'll run pretty much forever you know they'll slow down eventually but um you know compared to like new computers but they're really very nice computers um i don't know maybe that's just because i'm like an audio person and if i was anything else like a programmer people would get mad at me <laughs> but whatever um, so yeah, that's that. Um, uh, I have like various stands and accoutrement. Like, um, I really like, so that little, that little desk stand, I use that a lot for, um, like when I'm recording audio on my computer and this, all the, these things are all less than 50 bucks, you know, and I've never had an issue with cheap stands. I know some people have like very, they just have issues with using cheap stands and stuff, but I, I've never had that much of an issue. Other small things like, like cords and stuff, just a lot of stuff, I don't know. Um, all this stuff is like cheaper and it will run you, le you know, I would say pick like the second from cheapest and you'll probably be okay. Um, much to the chagrin of my like guitar friends, I have not learned how to make my own chords yet so sorry um well we're staring right at it so let's look at the next thing this is my amp um it is a fender champion 40 um it is not a tube amp it's a little solid state modeling amp and i don't know i really like it um a lot of people are really like they're amp heads and they're like no it has to be tubes man um i'm not like that i am um, very much uh flying by the seat of my pants in, ter in terms of what i use for amps during shows but i haven't had to worry about it so whatever um i don't know i really like this this is like a good songwriting tool because you can sort of like quickly tune in the kind of vibe you want from your guitar um without having to like actually you know get into the details of what is making it sound like you know, a tweed amp or what is making it sound like, uh, like a British amp or whatever. So yeah, I don't know. I like it. It'll run you like a hundred bucks new. Uh, I've had it, this one for like maybe three or four years and I have used the crap out of it and it's been pretty decent for me. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. So let's look. I have to look at my notes to see what the actual model number of that guitar is because it is, I never remember it. So this is the Gretsch. She's a beaut, isn't she? Um, the model number for this guy is G5622TCB, and that CB stands for center block. So you can see it's got these cutouts here. There's a center block of wood in here, so this isn't fully hollow. Um, and it's got these lovely, beautiful pickups that were um, that came in with it, I do not have any upgraded pickups in any of my guitars. I'm really sorry, guitar nerds, that's just my deal. So, sorry. Um, yeah, I really love this guitar. It has great tone, and it's had great tone right out of the box. I ordered it online, and it, it came. And I've just really, really enjoyed um, playing with it and getting to know it. And it actually um, took over as my favorite guitar from this one, so this is a Mexican Fender Telecaster. Um, it's got a lot of, hi. Um, it's got some customization going on, as you can see. Um, this was my main show guitar for a long, long time. I really like it. Um, just two single pickups. Again, these are just standard. Um, Again, this guitar is nice, but it's just, it's not like, not quite as versatile as the, the Gretsch in terms of tone. It, it tends to be more, you know, twangy and that's fine. I don't mind it, but, um, 
again, if I'm going to have one instrument to take with me to a show, I would like to have something that's more versatile. So there's the telly. Um, I bought it for like 450 because it was a showroom guitar and it had some like, yeah, that little dent there when I got it. And so I got 50 bucks off because of that. Um, you can get these pretty much everywhere. They're all over the place. Um, and they're pretty decent. This was my first, I had like a, um, a red Squire Strat that absolutely sucked. Um, because it was like an old Strat, I think, or an old, uh, Squire. So new Squires, uh, I've played a couple of them. I think they sound pretty good for what they are. Um, and for the price point. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a huge nerd about it. Um, sorry to people who are, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. So finally, well, not finally. We've got a couple more things. This is a Godin something. X SDXT. They don't make them anymore. Um, and it's like beautiful blue finish. I love this thing. Um, it's pretty well made for what it is. Yes, I use clip-on tuners, whatever. Um... It's pretty well made. The tuners are nice. Um, it's got great action. Um, <clears throat> it's got this sort of strat type pickup structure. Um, and so you can get just like a crazy amount of tones out of this thing. And I think it was like 200 or 300 bucks uh, when it came out. They only sold it for a couple years, like 2002, 2003. And... Um, it was not like a very expensive, nice guitar. It was just sort of like very mid-grade, and I think it's definitely a great value for the price. Um, I don't know. Usually when I think of Godin, I think of those like weird acoustic electric hybrid guitars, but these these seem to work out pretty well. I actually really enjoyed them. So there's that. Um, then this is the Palmer. Uh, beautiful guitar. I don't think they make this model anymore. Um, I think they're made in Florida or something. Again, more clip-on tuners. Um, this is the only acoustic I have anymore. I used to have a little, um, Taylor guy, and I got rid of it last year because I just didn't play it enough. I don't play a ton of acoustic guitar, but this was the first guitar I actually gave a crap about, so, yeah, they're... There she is. Um, finally, we're going to go over here. This is the only bass I have remaining as well. So there she is. She's beautiful. Um, I think this is like, you can pick one up for like 200, 300 bucks. No biggie. Um, I am not a great bass player. So I basically just have it to play really, really simple things. And uh, to do, you know, recording of myself and then sometimes I play live with it but really really rarely so yeah that's it for this week um I don't know sorry that I don't feel good but also I can't help it so I don't feel that bad all right bye